I'm surprised how for that price they were able to produce such a, a, a good package. Text and text and the guy doesn't answer. I'm here at the place with all these bikes around me and wondering which bike he's gonna get action. Like the other video I did, 6,000 miles in 21 hours. People, I, can't, yeah, people, I can't believe, yeah, people in the comments thought you were serious. Yeah, they were like, oh. The fender itself is, is much lower and there's a panel. Harley. Woke up early to get online for the quick service, uh, the recall on the Lowrider ST with the uh, suspension. I, then I realized, wait a minute, I actually, where's this, where is that, um, where's that bolt needed? Is it on the suspension? Because I did the Wilbur's upgrade. And yeah, believe it or not, I woke up for no, early for no reason. They have, uh, if you have a suspension, the, the recall on the ST is actually a bolt that goes on the, shot, on the uh, absorber itself, one of the bolts was breaking off. So since I did the Wilbur's, I don't need that. Uh, I don't even need that upgrade. So I'm going to go meet up with Nadal. He is picking up a really cool new bike this morning. And I'm going to uh, like be with him. Really cool. I'm, I'm riding over there. Excited. Let's go see what he's picking up. So I text and text and text. And the guy doesn't answer. I'm here at the place with all these bikes around me and wondering which bike he's gonna get. Actually, I know which bike he's gonna get. And he's there by the money department. Oh, there's his son. <laughs> That's your bike, right? It's gonna be your bike. Oh, man. No, I, I got the first set on. It's a great bike. How you doing? When'd you get here? You rode that? You rode? No, no you came no, with the truck. He, I, no, I came with him. He's going to Princeton. He's going to work after. So who's taking the bike back home? I am. Huh? We'll go, we'll go. Oh, let's go show me what you're getting. It's right here, this one. I like which this one? This one. Dude, does it come in men's color as well? No, I, I like. <laughs> All right, we'll just keep no, the PG. No, no. <laughs> He's gonna say something that is not uh, PG PG rated. I know him already. Wow, you gonna take it out now, dude? Wow, it's beautiful. The Triumph X four hundred. Scrambler. The Scrambler. I was like, I, the X stands for the Scrambler, and I was like, this is a bike I want to get. I rode the Harley 440 in India, and I saw these. Dude, this is a beautiful bike. It's got the, I'll take it out. I could have gotten the green. No, no, I've seen the green. No, 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 no. This is this is great. No, 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 no. It's it's matte. It's a matte color. Like the matte. No, it's a kind of a matte color. You see, it looks like a yeah. Like plastic, right? It looks plastic. It looks. These guys wanted the green, I said. Uh, no, nah, dude, look, look at that. Look at that. Wow, come on, pay them and let's go. Let's yeah, take let's it go. out come so on, we can take, come on. It's a, pro it's a problem. These things take time, Sandy. Uh, you're not financing probably, so you just give your money and you go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> First service, 600 miles, you know where to go down there. All right. Uh, Oh, it's got traction control. It's got everything for six thousand dollars. Even to get a battery tender. That is a good, good-looking bike. Congratulations, brother! Wow. Yeah, you know, four hundred. <laughs> First start ever, kind of. <laughs> no, do you have it? Have it? Oh, that's Bottom. Right. Yeah. This one? <laughs> <laughs> we have our heart. He said, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look out. Look out. Oh, I'm scared. Look out. I'm scared. <laughs> what you get what you get for the money All right, take care. so much fun because i rode something like this in india the harley 440 x 440 and this is uh this is the competition or one competes with the other and this is a beautiful finish like everything looks so high you know high class everything really really You know what? 
we're gonna get our bearings. Well, you can definitely run this off road. If you really want to go more aggressive, you change to a little bit knobbier tires, but you don't need to. Just like just to take it uh, light off road trails, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't remember. I think there actually is a. You'll find. You'll figure that out. There's a, a place where you can uh, take the uh, traction control off. You can turn I mean, it well, off. They might have that. We'll, we'll mess around with yeah. it. Yeah. That's that's a wow. It's really cool. Oh, it's uh, liquid cool, obviously. Yeah, really excited. Will I get a ride on it? No, no. Take it for a spin. No, 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 no. I know. This you're... is not my, but this is a toy. Come it's on. a toy, but you, it's your bike. It's you go that, first. No, 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 no. After you, I'll go around and then you try. Okay, okay. Ah, there's a, there's a, there's a... There's a curve? No, but here it's, it's clear. That is one good looking bike. Six grand out the door. You can't beat that. You really can't. Like a bicycle. It feels like a, wait, wait till you see it. Because it's so light. We're so This is great. Yeah. All right, Sandy's taking the uh, X Scram X. Yes. Easy with the power, okay? Easy. <laughs> There's literally no power, but what can, I don't expect any power yeah. from a 400, but it's such an enjoyable bike. The, the riding position is uh, straight, kind of straight up, and uh, the finish on it is amazing. Yeah, uh, it's going to be such an enjoyable bike for your kids. I would get one for myself, literally, yeah. just to play around, dude. Just That's to, what we're going to do. This just one, to play around, take okay it off road. You drop it or drop yeah, it yeah, it. it's so much fun. This is a great bike. Congratulations, dude, really. really. So now it's the big... I can even go on a bicycle lane with this. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the it's big... <laughs> yeah, it's the big test. How fast will it go? He'll ride home. He's going home. He's going to tell me, call me up and say, Sandy, you did... Uh, well, I've heard some 110 people, miles no, I heard an some hour. people say they took it up to 90 miles an hour, but it's still got to break in. I don't want to abuse yeah, it. Yeah, don't so. abuse it. But so I'm going to go wow, it's such 70 a great, the most. It's a great bike. Wow, you're going to enjoy it. I'm so yeah. I'm happy for you. And Thank you. Sir. Really? Ah, wow. It's the Brits. <laughs> it's, not, it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm surprised how for that price they were able to produce such a, uh, a yeah. good package. Like everything about it, it's a, a great first bike. A great first bike. It's a little bit tall. I mean, I don't know if your kids are tall enough for yeah, it or six foot. six foot. Yeah, no problem. So it's a bit tall and this is great. Yeah, okay, so so Nadal here, he's the one that inspired me to go with uh, the higher rise. And I test it out on your bike, your Jalal's bike, the rise. Tell me what you think. It's the same, and you bought them back, like. Uh, yeah, I brought them back because I want them closer to me. Job was comfortable. He's coming tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Nice, huh? I like the levers too. Yeah. And this is, and you feel. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then when you're riding, you're gonna be nice. Yeah. Yep. The seat feels good. Too. Good. Yeah, that's right. that, that's the one without the backrest. Yep. The backrest, the one with the backrest is at home. The touring. Sandy, you're ready for your ten thousand miles. Ten thousand easy. 
in one, in one day. <laughs> like the other video I did, 6,000 miles in 21 hours. I, I, people, can't, yeah, people, I can't believe, yeah, people in the comments thought you were serious. Yeah, they were like, oh, like, oh no, it's, no, it doesn't count. Fine. We have to be no, doing yeah, 240 it, miles. Dude, it was a joke. It was a grab. I had to grab your attention somehow, right? Okay, this just fell on the ride over here. It fell. And I was like, oh, how does that break, you know? But uh, Nadal, Nadal told me that actually there's the bolt over here that uh, probably it was loose. I didn't tighten it properly or I never rechecked it. I would so put blue Loctite because so there's the, vibration. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. And this is vibrating, vibrating a lot. lot. So put some blue Loctite on it yeah. and I think it'll hold it up. And, but I have to get home and figure out how to open it. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to untighten this one, take this one out and use this as a lever for here but i'll just check out uh actually i'll check maybe i can stick uh some kind of tool inside there and just open it yeah so i'm gonna ride home now congratulations brother really it's a beautiful beautiful machine and yeah, really. you're gonna All enjoy right. it uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah dude it's well enjoy it to practice we are why i've been riding for so many years it's not not the first bike for us but but for the price and for what it's intended to, for your kids, for for around us town, around beach, town yeah. to, to the beach to play around, you know, I think that's a, I think it's a great great bike. Literally, it, it's the same price as most of the e-bikes too nowadays. Yeah, e-bikes right. are seven thousand yeah, yeah, dollars. All these, yeah, right. This is so nice. Wow, really. Look at even the finishing over here on the. I'm on the subframe dude this is nice it's like flaky you're used to looking at them royal enfields that look real cheap they look no like don't that. don't knock them <laughs> don't knock them don't knock them but royal enfield this is a, a better finish no doubt it's also a and i will i will i will say also admittedly say that this is a better finish than the harley x440 that i have in india this is a better finish I left it in neutral. Hey, don't don't hit it too hard. Don't hit it too hard. You don't want to wake up the neighbors. <laughs> right? The neighbors over here are gonna. I'm gonna put a two into one. Uh, uh, two nice into one. Crank. How about a one into two? <laughs> That's what you have. A one into two. That's yeah. Put. I would put saddlebags. A fairing, uh, a stage, we'll see stage seven. <laughs> All right, okay, Sandy, we're out of here. We're going south. Go. It was a nice ride. The weather was nice. Yes. Yeah, I'm heading on my bike. Okay, good morning. It's not good morning. It's uh, actually noon. Let me show you something that's been going on. Uh, I've been riding with this. I've been riding with uh, with the bag set up. With uh, the touring bag set up for, I don't know, a few... I'd say a 1,000 miles, 1,500 miles already. Now take a close look at what you see at the bags okay you see at the uh what's going on with the bags is on on the back part right here okay they're starting to buckle they're starting to bend in inward both sides both sides now the thing is uh also when we went on the ride when we went on the ride to laconia not to laconia to lake george the guys were telling me they were riding behind me and they were telling me the whole time the bags were very unstable they were rocking they were shaking too much for them you know uh, like it was significant and they noticed it and they told me sandy check that your your bags are actually uh tight and they were tight if they check them they were they said they're 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 out there they're rocking now i was trying to see what's the deal if uh, any of the bolts were loose or anything and what i found so no, the bolts actually are tight. There's no problem. Uh, it's not, that's not the issue. I think that the issue is pretty much it's the design itself. The aftermarket design itself of uh, these touring bags 
and the bracket, since the, there's only two anchoring points, or I would say three anchoring points, getting these bags, uh, supporting these bags to the frame. You see how it's how it's rocking? There's two uh, bolting points, uh, one over here, one over here, and this part over here to the frame. So it's nicely rigged and, and, and uh, suspended, uh, I would say supported on the front part, but there's actually no real support on the far end, the far end, this part right here. And as opposed to what you see on touring uh, bikes, on touring models, the Harley touring models, where the fender itself is, is much lower and there's a panel and there's actually a support between uh, this bracket or the, the, the part, the rear part of the support that is pretty much supporting this whole mechanism or this whole brace so it doesn't, doesn't do that. So this whole setup on a Harley Bagger is very rigid and there's no movement. There's actually no movement of this of this bag, of, of this, this supporting bracket. So in my opinion, the only way to get rid of this rocking and to have this, uh, this supported much, much better right here, if you actually design, design some kind of a connecting brace, I would say, from here to here, but then that would look extremely odd because this whole thing is supported in the, mainly in the front and the bottom, but there's no connecting point from this part to this part for two reasons, for it to be more solid, like once, so one side supports the other. And the other main uh, thing is that this is tilting in, is starting slowly, slowly, getting closer to the wheel over here as well. Let me, let me go further back and show you if you can actually see. Can you see how it's, it's, it's buckling in. It's literally, the rear part is getting closer and closer towards the wheel. So for that reason, I think I'm going to go to the stock setup. I'm concerned about the road trip that we're going to be doing, the cross country road trip that we're going to be doing. But I uh, realized that if I'm going to be going a lot of miles, a lot of miles on these bags, I want to have them, you know, securely supported and securely situated where there's no movement and I don't lose anything during during the ride itself. So I'm probably going to have a tour pack with me to take all my stuff, a tour pack over here with me. And the side bags are going to be filled with stuff that I actually need for, you know, for the road, for the ride itself, like rain gear and stuff like that. And uh, additionally, uh, all my camera gear as well. So all my camera gear and my things, uh, all the tchotchkes and things that I need for the ride itself are gonna be in these bags. And I'm not sure I need bags that are so big for the ride itself. All my sleeping gear, clothing, whatever I need for the hotel is gonna be in the tour pack, or if I actually uh, get that Rick Rack gentleman's luggage setup, like John likes to call it, I might be doing that as well. So that's gonna solve the problem. So for now, I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna switch back to the stock saddlebags, uh, which uh, they sit more secure. And until uh, the aftermarket comes with a, comes up with a solution how to make this whole thing sturdier and less rocking over here. Okay, you know what? You see how you see how it rocks. It's just because of the uh, there's they're missing a mounting point right over here. So I don't know whoever comes up with the R and D for that and decides, I think that a brace, pretty much a brace from here, maybe inside through the fender, where it, where it doesn't disturb the wheel, to tie both sides up, so you don't get that, that shaking and rocking. Like I said before, because on a, on a touring model, there's support of there from the fender itself, so there's no movement. So for now, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna be taking the bike in and uh, disassembling this, 
putting the uh, the stock ones back on. Got the bags off. And now I want to show you how the brackets sit and what uh, my concern was. So if if you look at the mounting points, you're talking about good mounting, good support over here, good support over here. So this whole area is very rigid. Now the back is being held only by this and there's actually nothing supporting this movement. See how flexible it is? So you would think, okay, it's, it's rigid, but the truth is there's not enough, there's not enough support over here. The only way to get this done properly, if there was a fender that would go all the way down here and then part of the fender, it would be connected to here like it is on the touring models. Or if the aftermarket wants to figure something out, how these two can be connected, uh, maybe go up through the fender on top without it being seen, because I'm not happy. I'm not happy with uh, with this, the way it's uh, currently, you know, being supported. Not enough rigidity out there for it to be really rock steady. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take it off now. The bike is back to normal configuration, as you can see. Very easy swap. Like I said, I'm gonna gonna be rocking the uh, either it's gonna be either it's gonna be the Rick Rack uh, gentleman's pack or uh, the saddleback from Adron Black that I have over here, and the bags. As you can see, the Adron Black bags with the mounts are back on the wall. I hold all my gear. Look, all my stuff, my gloves, my. Face shields, face mask, stuff, whatever. It's all there. My goggles right there hanging. That's it, guys. Uh, like, I, like I always tell you, I try to bring the, the things. I keep it real. I tell, you, uh, I tell you the facts. I tell you how I feel. I tell you my thoughts. So you don't have to go through the experiences that I go through. I used these mounts. I used the bags that were cool while they lasted. It's not good for my trip. Uh, I'm not happy with the design, the way it buckles. The backs themselves are great. Uh, the, the mounts, it's just not, it's not finessed yet. So you'd say long-term, long-term review? Yeah, I keep it real. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next, till the next video guys, peace out.